let me explain this abomination. So it's a 60 card deck, and it's surprisingly consistent, because it has like 16 starter cards. <laughs> and the reason it's running 60 cards is because I can't fit any more cards in there. Zero losses with competitive? Exactly. You have been demoted to a lower rank? Have I been losing a whole bunch? Yeah, there's there's Winda, there's uh, Ak... Akpikolone? How do you say this? I don't even know what this card does, this is a new one. Let me explain to you how this works. I crafted a lot of cards, I spent a lot of money. The difference between this one and my other ones is Spriggan, Scrap, Dogmatica, Shadal, Dinos. And here's how they all work together, so... Scrap Raptor allows you to search out Scrap Recycler, who sends Christron Rosenix to the grave, who special summons a token that allows you to go into Scrap Wavern, who allows you to bring back Scrap Raptor, who allows you to go into Golem with Wavern's effect, then Golem brings back one of the Scraps, preferably Scrap Recycler, and then you send another uh, card to the graveyard, maybe one of your Spriggans, because they're all machines. Then you go into Curious, and Curious ditches Overtext Koalas to the graveyard, which searches out Double Evolution Pill, which allows you to special summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And then you can use Curious to go into an Appalooza if you want for a negate. So that's that's the that's the thing. And then we have the the Dogmaticas. That's how the deck works. And then that's all on top of Spriggans. And everybody knows how Spriggans work. If you don't know how Spriggans work, let me explain this to you. So Spriggans revolve around this field spell card called the Great. Sand Seed Gold Gun Goldia. What this card does is increases the attack of all of your Spriggan Xyz monsters by 1,000 points. <gasps> That's a lot, except the Spriggan Xyz monsters have very low attack points. So they're balanced around the field spell card being out <laughs> to have normal stats. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the good part about this field spell is that you can discard a Spriggan monster from your hand, uh, a Spriggan card, excuse me, in order to special summon a Spriggan Xyz monster from your extra deck. Either of these. So basically, you cheat them out by just discarding a card. And some of the Spriggans gain effects in the graveyard. Brothers can uh, be ditched in order to special summon. And um, Branga can search if he's in the graveyard. And all of the Spriggans have the side effect where they can attach themselves to your Hi. Xyz monsters. The Field Spell card cheats out your Xyz monsters, and then it has another effect which isn't super useful. And then the Xyz monsters. Merrymaker has an effect which is basically Foolish Burial for your Spriggans when it comes out. Then, during your opponent's turn, it can just banish itself until your next turn. Or until the end phase, and both of them have that. And um, if it does that effect while it has two or more materials, it allows you to search out a card. By sending a fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, who lists Fallen of Albaz as the material. So either Iron Dash Dragar or uh, Titan Clad. And uh, both of these cards allow you to search or special summon. Let's see how this works. <gasps> 40 gems. You guys notice how little gems they give you? At this point, 100 gems seems generous. Just buy more gems. Damn, look at all these starter cards. I drew literally four searchers in my opening hand. This is amazing. Great Grand Scene Gongolia. Should I use Nadir Servant? No, I can't spell to summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Yeah, I need to do that last. I'll do Fossil Dig to try to bait out an Ash. Because I want my Spriggans to come out. Okay. We got Scrap Raptor. Okay, and then we have Spriggan's Watch. Spriggan's Watch allows me to set up my graveyard with a Spriggan and then also add one to my hand. The one I'll add to my hand is... I'll just add a Branga. And then... a Sargas. Because I'm putting them both in the grave anyway. Great to Grand Sea, ditch Branga in order to go into Merrymaker. That way I can set another one to the grave. This time I'll send Brothers so I can bring out uh, Sargas. Where's Brothers? There he is. Activate Brothers effect? Yes. Give me Captain Sargas. Sargas allows me to... He's like a Drydent. He has quick effect destruction during my opponent's turn. But I have to detach a material to use the effect. Okay, let's give two. Normally, this is where my combos would end. However, I haven't even started. 
I haven't even begun to start my combos. So, because I have Scrap Raptor. Scrap Raptor activates effects. We go into Scrap Recycler. I get an extra normal summon this turn for a Scrap Monster. So I'll use Scrap Recycler, then I'll send the Christron card to the graveyard. Christron card allows me to special summon a token with its graveyard effect. Don't get Nibiru. He doesn't have Nibiru. Then I go into Scrap Wavern. <laughs> does he have a response? What response does he have? Okay, and then we'll bring out Scrap Recycler, or is it Scrap Raptor? I think he has a hard once per turn, so we'll go with Scrap Recycler. I don't remember, I think I might be screwing up the combo if I'm going into this. Select a card to destroy. I don't think it matters, honestly. Select a card to special summon. Okay, we'll bring out Fridge Man. Select a card to destroy. Wait, what? What am I destroying? I think I did the combo wrong. <laughs> to Fridge. I think I was supposed to add Raptor back. Okay, we'll send P-Door to the grave. This allows me to get a third material in Merrymaker so I can feel Sargass. Okay, and then I can use them to go into Appalooza. No, I screwed up my combo, so I can't go into Curious. Okay, select a card to send to the graveyard. Sure, whatever. Titanclad. Bring out Ecclesia. Hey, Novus. Thanks for the prime. Let's bring him out. This is the longest first turn I've ever done, and I completely screwed up. Should I go into a Maximus? No, we're going to a Punishment. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards. So, if I had messed that up, I would have been able to uh, let's add e Ecclesia to the hand. I would have gone into a Curious and then had an Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and then an Opalooza, Bow of the Goddess. Man, that was a lot of... <laughs> Let's destroy Planet Pathfinder. I can't let him search. You crazy. He was so patient to sit through all my combos, too. Pot of Desires. If you sent Apple Cologne, you could have sent Schism to summon Winda on their next turn. Mmm, I could have also sent the other card. <gasps> a kaiju? Numeron Wall? Activate Numeron Network. What's your favorite deck right now? This one. Okay, he's gonna bring out a whole bunch of cards. Alright. These cards don't allow him to go into the Utopia card. Because you can only summon one extra time. It's that dumb Numeron OTK deck. Yeah, let's shut this down. <laughs> Ain't no choke. I'm gonna pop two of his cards with his punishment. He's, he's gonna go for the attack. Limiter removal. He can't OTK from here, can he? He only has two cards. Two limiter removals, huh? Double the current attack. No, I'll let it go through. Four thousand attack each? I don't really want to waste forbidden droplets. I can take the life point hit. He messed up? I don't think he messed up. <gasps> 8,000? Oh! Whoa! I guess I do need to use Forbidden Droplets. We'll send, um... Ecclesia to the grave. That way he has to redeclare on a higher attack target. And I lose no life points! <laughs> no, not my Scrap Golem. 
Oh, you guys have forbidden droplets too? <laughs> what the hell, man? If you do it in damage step, they can't redeclare. Well, I mean, I sent the low health target to the grave. Two of my cards? So he was gonna redeclare no matter what. So that's how the deck OTKs. It actually uses the effect of the Numerons? Huh. Why did they drop it? Uh. What the hell? You can also exit this card with the number one Numeron Gate outcome you control as material. If this card is XC summoned, banish all monsters in the field. Once per turn, during your next standby phase, after this card is banished, you can spell some of the banished card. Then if Numeron Network is on the field, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined attack of all banished XC's monsters. Number one, Numeron Gate? Was that the card he had left? Wait, should I have targeted number one the whole time? Drew the brick. This isn't a brick. You guys are crazy. Maximus. Wait, what do I have in the grave that's useful? Oh yeah, Branga can search. Okay, banish a Spriggan's monster. Select a card to banish. We'll banish Merrymaker. Yeah, I can go into Exablore, destroy the field spell. Damn, I can't believe they almost blasted through that. Huggies. Okay, Drytron. I don't have any hand traps. And if I don't draw into any of my going second cards, then I lose because I also drew the fucking fridge again. What the hell? I have a 60 card deck. That's like the one garnet I don't ever want in my hand. How did I draw it twice? <laughs> this is why I hate playing fucking garnets. I always draw them. 